How can a piece of paper and an egg help you to improve your handstand form and get rid of your banana handstand? In this video, I'm going to show you the three most common mistakes that people make when they try to learn handstand. You need a really good form if you one day want to be able to do a good handstand push-up or a handstand press. If you haven't tried a handstand yet, you should first watch my beginner handstand video, which I'm going to link right here. Before we get started, let's make sure we understand what a good handstand form should look like. First of all, you want to have your shoulders open and elevated. Secondly, you want to have your core tension. And thirdly, your legs should be tensioned, pulled together and perfectly aligned with the rest of your body. Three important points also gives three most common mistakes. And we're going to have a look at them right now. Let's have a closer look at mistake number one. Mistake number one is a lack of shoulder opening. This basically means that you normally lack the flexibility or the strength in your shoulders. And there are two exercises that we can do for that. The first exercise that we will do are so-called handstand shrugs. This exercise will help you to build the necessary shoulder strength to actually get a straight line. Imagine you want to touch with your toes the sky. You would just want to sink into your shoulders and then push yourself back up. The second exercise is for a lack of shoulder mobility. You want to place your hands on a wall and then push your shoulders down. The most important thing here is that you keep your core tensioned and don't fall into your back. You really want to get the stretch completely at your thorax and your shoulders, basically your chest as well. If shoulder mobility is generally an issue for you, you want to click on the link right here. This is a video that is solely for shoulder exercises, stretches, for handstand. The second most common mistake is a lack of core tension and this is caused by an inability of people to understand how to activate their abs and their bum. In children's gymnastics they have a very good explanation for that on how to do this. First of all you gotta imagine to suck out all the air of your tummy so that your belly goes all the way in and then you get a really tension and secondly to get the tension in your bum Imagine you need to fart, but your crush is standing next to you and you don't want that to happen. So you really have to tension very hard your bum that the fart stays inside. For the next exercise, you're gonna need an egg because it will help you to understand how to do this. So I would say, let's get an egg. For the egg exercise, you wanna place the egg on the floor and then lie down, but make sure that you don't ruin the egg underneath. You need to tension your core and your bum and you should be able to roll the egg underneath your tummy. This exercise teaches you the right core activation. Last but not least, the third most common mistake with handstands is a lack of tension in your legs. And this, my friends, is awful. You need to fix it. It looks not good, so work on it. I have a very good exercise for you in that case. Everybody, I guess, knows a handstand. Now you place a piece of paper between your heels and do a headstand, and you don't want to lose the paper, so you need to tension your legs so that the paper stays up there. You'll also be a lot more stable if your legs are really tensioned together. Oh, and one last thing that I forgot to mention is the way you look. Because many people, when they try handstand exercises, don't look down, but they look, for example, on the wall in front of them or even further away and we don't want that so to really get a nice sense of balance you need to spot a point directly in the middle between your hands you don't want to look too far down and don't too far up really look into the middle of your hands i hope this video will help you to finally fix your handstand form and one day achieve exercises like a handstand press or the handstand push-up I have tutorials for both of these exercises on my channel, so feel free to check them out. I hope you like this video and yeah, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.